I know. Cycle shack. <laughs> well, folks, here we are at the cycle shack. I tell you, I got a brand new project. You, see, I got a bad knee. This knee here is kind of bad. And, and I'm having a problem with my turkey hunt. And I have a problem getting around, but I got the solution. And we're going to show you a really neat solution here in a minute. Okay, here at the cycle shack, this is my answer for some better turkey hunt. Okay, hey, where's Mike? Let's see what Mike's going, doing here. Look at this cycle shack. Here comes rolling. Hey, what you doing? What's up, man? Hey, getting things going, huh? It's, uh, it's ready to go. Really? No kidding. Oh, holy. Yeah. Take a look. Yeah. Hey, hey, Mike. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Good. Man. It's all ready to go, huh? It's ready to go. Hey, do you want to try it out? Yeah. The secret weapon. My secret turkey hunting weapon. Not so secret <laughs> anymore now. <laughs> Ooh, look at this bad boy. Look at this bad boy, son. That's a three-wheel, tricycle, electric, with the most powerful engine in the whole world. Yeah, it, it seems so. It's like being strapped to an RC car. Really? It's okay. pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> now, Mike, I, I've never I've never ridden it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have you kind of give me a, a a one two on what's going on. All right. So we've got like you've uh, like we kind of talked about the Sun Baja trike uh, with the CYC kit. Uh, you've got. It's going to be the stealth. I mean, how, how far do you want me to break it down here, Rowan? Well, I know it's, it's all kind of tricky stuff here. Boy, yeah. that's really good so stuff. So you've got Magora Sport Trail Brakes, which are the quad piston calipers. Wow, big old tires. Look at that thing. you got the speed. you got to have the brakes. So um, we did tire liners and everything to keep the puncture resistance up as best as you can off-road. Uh, Crank Brothers Stamp One pedals with the cleats in them. Now, see, one thing uh, here in Florida, also on the, on the management areas, mm -hmm. as long as we have pedal assist, we can mm -hmm. use an electric bike. There you go. So places like the Picayune and some of the, of the draw areas that are non-motorized, or at least at least for trail, you know, you can't run vehicles in the trail, mm -hmm. it qualifies for going back at some of those places. Exactly. So, you know, we can do that. That's a big loophole we've been using on this stuff. So, so. so, there, so it, but it has to have pedal assist. As, as part of the system, and that's what we have. And I need to touch on the pedal assist because so many companies have this out right now. Uh -huh. This is by far the smoothest, most predictable, linear, if I could come up with other verbs, it'd be, it's, it's awesome. It's one of the best systems I've ever used. Uh, with it being new to us, new to you, uh, I think we're gonna do a lot more of these just due well, to, well, now, and it went now, together this is, perfect. See, see, I came down, I came to Mike a couple months ago and I said, Mike, I got a problem with my knee. I have a hard time getting around. I can walk a little bit, sure, but I can't walk a long ways. And so some of these management areas and some of these places that, that are non, you can't use motored, motored vehicles in some of these mm -hmm. big wide open places like the big Cypress and all these things. Yep. You can take a bicycle and, 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 and actually go down the little trails and, yeah. and off-road kind of places. So, yeah. so that's kind of why I got it because it can really assist me in getting back into places that I normally would walk to but since I can't walk real well or very far, I can walk, but not just the, the miles and miles of distance. Now, yeah. what kind of mileage do we have on this? Vehicle? You know, it's, it's really gonna boil down to the load, the terrain, everything. Uh, I did some riding on it earlier, and due to the size of the battery, I would not be shocked if you didn't get 40, 50 miles out of it. 40 or 50 miles. It's now, really, it's really going to depend on the load. Right. Um, now, now, what we did, and we kind of researched this, and this is not just a, a street legal bike. This no. is far by. This is an <laughs> off-road system. So, Absolutely. street legal. You might explain what the 750 and all that stuff is for street legal. Uh, the 750. Um, That's the street legal size for a bat, for a motor, right? Well, it really boils down to top speed. Okay. So well, there's. Yeah, so there's, there's, there's limits on horsepower. Uh, with the electric stuff, it's still fairly new to me. Uh, I'm a motorcycle guy, okay. ATV, side-by-side -side kind of guy. Um, but this is putting out a little too much power to be street legal. Right. Um, but, it, 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 but we also built it another way. We, we didn't want it to be street legal because I'm not going to run on the street. I'm going to be running mm -hmm. in the woods. What we built it for is the rough terrain and the hills and stuff, and that's what most electrical you know, bikes mm -hmm. don't have. So, yeah. 
So you might explain what we did for that. We, we had lower gearing and uh, more We did. Motor. So on this one, it came factory with a seven speed. I went to a box prime nine downhill mountain bike setup with a nine speed freewheel. Um, it's got a heavy clutch in the rear derailleur. Um, what else do we have? And, and the, the big helping hand was the low gear. I think it's a 32 tooth on the motor. Okay. So you get the real, you get the real low gear there in paired with the rear cassette. Okay. Um, but it's putting out 108 Newton meters of torque, which is That's about 110 foot pounds of torque. It's, <laughs> it's, really bad. it's nutty. It's <laughs> nutty. So it, it, it's, uh, the smiles per mile are going to far exceed <laughs> any of the battery life. We did two batteries for you. Uh, you got the display here, and yeah, well, it's... Well, let's take it outside. Can you, can you take it for a spin? Yeah, show yeah me how absolutely. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's, let's do that. The speed isn't an important thing. It's to be able to creep it along. And the torque. Yeah, so, the uh, for anybody else even, I mean, if, if you wanted to put a pier cart on the back with a trailer hitch, we can do it. If you want to add it, we can add it. Well, that's the thing here at the cycle shack. You, you do uh, you do any kind of modification at all. Yeah. But it's got a nice ca cargo area. It does. It'll hold a lot of stuff. I'll be able to. Yep. I'm going to probably put a gun rack, some kind of a gun thing on here for a, a carrying a gun, and yeah. and the rest of it just be carrying my equipment for the uh, maybe a little cooler and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I might try it. I will tell you what, Mike. If you just hold hold the camera, you tell me what to do. All right. So, so you're going to want to get used to the pedal assist first. Okay. Just okay. pedal it. Oh yeah, just uh, oh, and I can go slow with it too. And you can, yeah. I it'll barely it'll, pedal it, and it's it'll, going it'll real creep good. along. But this is this is pedal assist, so I can go really slow as I want. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're in a pretty low gear or a I'm in a, low a gear. high gear now, so the top speed is really what it wants. Okay. You can shift. Okay, okay, okay. Use okay. the lever here. If you click it one at a time. Okay. That'll get you shifting while you're pedaling. So as you yeah. get you get pedaling, click it, and it'll shift up into. Now, which way do I go back to low, low gear again? You would hit the corresponding lever here. Oh, okay. So that makes it harder to pedal, shifts up essentially. And then if you want to shift down, you've got the, the big one there. So just take it out and give it a ride now. Uh, you want to be pedaling whenever well, that's, it's... That's pedal assist on, on the low speed. That's yep. low speed there. So that's kind of what I want. I want to be able to go and then... I can also with the thr throttles the throttle. on the left, so I can go as low. I can go as slow as I want. And when I'm sneaking in the woods, that's what I want to do. I want to be able to just sneak along slow like this. I just want to be able to go real slow and and just just a real creeping along. That's I noticed in the in the Everglades when I'm trying to find deer and turkey. If I'm less than three miles an hour, it's, it, things don't really take take much notice. You know what I mean when you're mm -hmm. going slow like this. Well, anyway, I'm going to try it. Okay. Woo. So it's got it's got brakes for front and rear. Yeah, a mm -hmm. lot of brakes. It's, got, it's got a lot of brakes. As much it's as it's got brakes. electric motor, it's got brakes. It's got brakes. So stopping was so important to keep the safety level there. Yeah. Because when when you're off road or even on anything this this fast this. Yeah. Torquey, you need the brakes. Now, now I, I, go, I can go a higher speed, but I don't want to go higher speed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm, I guess I'm in the low speed now. I'm in the lowest speed. Uh, how do I know? You're up there. Um, you're actually about halfway up. You've got a, you've a, got. A lower speed yet? As far as the throttle goes yeah. and the electric system, yeah. you're as low as it goes. Okay. For the pedal I, assist. I can go another. You down. can go even lower, okay. like a real mountain climbing gear oh, to where. Okay. How do you how do you get there? As you as you're pedaling, just keep clicking here, oh, one at okay. a time, and let it shift. You'll hear it. Okay. Click it a little farther. Okay. Oh yeah, I can see it now. Oh yeah, now. Oh yeah, yeah. I can really go low. Well, this thing would probably climb a curb. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that thing. You may need to gotta get a bit of a running, yeah. running start there. <laughs> it, would, it would climb a curb and everything else. Holy holy. I'm so impressed with it. It's a, and exactly what I wanted, because what most electric bikes don't have in most electric systems, people aren't worried about low, creepy speeds. 
And as a hunter, I'm, lo I'm thinking about low, creepy speeds. And that's what Mike and I came up with, something on this order. We had to go a long ways and find, find the right gearing. And, and you, you might explain that you've got the lowest gearing I think you can get, right? Yeah, from CYC, they don't offer a lot for us hunting types. It's more of the loose cannon mountain bike rider. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of the stuff that they carry is more oriented towards top speed, a lot of racy applications and we we really had to play around with ratios and different parts to get this thing to jive and get it to where Roland needed it. Yeah. Uh, and it, I can't wait to see it in action. Well, I'm, I, I'm gonna, see I have a perfect place to try it. In the back of my yard, I'm gonna take it home soon. And, and it's a big, it's a big uh, 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 septic mound. Oh, if it'll go up at septic mound, it'll go up any hill in the whole world. <laughs> it climbed the bank of the pond out back earlier, oh, it did. so it did. I don't. It did. I, it I, I, I feel like you'd be pretty impressed pond. with it. So I'm going to do that. Well, so anyway, folks, I'm going to take this thing home and try it out. In the meantime, uh, hey, hey, thanks, Mike, for for just doing a great job. Thank and, you. And, and and boy, I tell you what, the Cycle Shack uh, place. Uh, they get the job done. Appreciate it. We sure try. It's been an so, honor, Roland. So, so uh, don't go away, folks. I'm going to show you some more really neat stuff with this bicycle.